Hey guys, welcome back to another round of Cyborg Gaming. Today we're going to go through this fourth circuit here, the Invitational Pod Racing Circuit. Um, we got another Ando Prime level, uh, so this will be the first race of the fourth circuit. You can see here, we've gotten first place on all the other circuits on every race. So let's dive into this one. Uh, we got Slide here. 5500 for the winner takes all so you can take this level on earlier in the game um, if you need to get some money or if you want to up your pod um, get some money to up your pod before taking on a, a race like Sebulba so this one again it shouldn't be too bad with us being already beaten Sebulba we're gonna have a pretty good speed here um, this one is significantly different than the other Ando Prime levels um, but I do actually really enjoy this one I feel like you can take this one on uh, probably even when you're in like the second circuit maybe third beginning of the third circuit and we're gonna kind of go through a little city area here you see there's a ramp off to the right if you want to take that up stay here to the left and the, to be honest yeah this one just is significantly different than any of the other ando prime levels yeah, we can boost it here you see i'm still not even really hitting 800 so we keep kind of cruising down go through this nice little tunnel you can see all these nice uh you know mountains off to the right and left of us and we're already back here to the beginning. It's a new lap record. That's great to see. This time I'll go off to the right just to show you the difference. There really shouldn't be any difference. Ooh, little shortcut. And this time I will show you the bottom here. Almost got lost there for a second. I wasn't sure where to go. I almost always take that up uh, route. That'd be a little jump here again. I'm not even going to try to take that ramp. I'm not really sure where that's going to lead me. The last time I went left, this time I'll take the right. And take that boost right through. And stay off to the right. And we can boost it down here. Oh. Man, I've... I'm glad it pauses it compared to like when I was playing Dark Souls. And I just kind of get stuck and die. Ooh, okay. Come on. And let's give it a boost again. Final lap. Missed another lap record. So let's take the path that we took the first time and let's see if we can get through and get another lap record. So actually I do think that uh, right path there might be slightly faster with that little shortcut. Let's take up. Releasing the gas. Let's get that repaired. All right, now we can keep going. And let's boost it through this city. Ah, wish I would have taken that jump there. Okay, let's go through. And you can see here, once again, this level is pretty easy. Oh, I took my map off. Uh, that's okay. And let's just boost it here until the end. Okay, so significantly better on the third one. First two lap records, uh, first two laps were pretty close. I uh, just barely missed another lap record on the second one. And of course, we'll get another pod.
So beat him by about nine seconds, which is pretty good for that short of a level. We're gonna go through fourth, uh, the four circuit, second race, the Ordibana, the Abyss. Uh, on this one, this is going to be probably the hardest race in the game, and I think it is the hardest by far. Maybe it's not for everybody, but it is for me. Um, so you can see here, we got, was it Bozy on the right, Bozy, uh, winner takes all, 5,500. Um, but on this one, I actually do not want to play with Anakin, even though I find him to be the funnest to play with throughout. Um, we are going to utilize Neva Key here. So he is a short, compact pod that is going to allow us to really uh, finish this race and come in first. Alright guys, so we're going to need to stay on top here, on this top path. So I recommend take it slow, hold, you know, take your foot off the gas and then speed it up. We're going to have a bit of a drop here. We should be good on this first one. This second one though... You're going to need to kind of keep a certain speed while maintaining that top path and hit that forward. Nice. All right, there we go. So we're going to need to do that throughout here on all three races or all three laps. And even this can get kind of windy. So take it nice and easy. Ooh, okay. That is massively unfortunate. Let's see if I can continue to keep that lead. I actually do not like being up here. So... There we go. So you can see it's still a pretty close race, even though I did take the upper lap. They got that shortcut um, that allowed them to kind of pop in front of me. And also... You're going to want to make sure you're not going too fast again going into this lap as we're going to want to kind of slow it down and make sure we can maintain this turn. I did kind of test it to see what happens. Like I made it through the first like two laps with uh, staying on top and then lost it on the third just to see what would happen. And I was not able to make it back fast enough to get the lead. Ooh, that was a close one. But I have two of the three down. That's all you gotta do is, you know, do your best to keep that, uh, stay on top on that third lap. You should be good to go. Ooh, okay. I actually prefer staying down here. So this is okay for me. Trying to just maintain an even speed. Uh, you know, staying around 600 uh, seems to be working quite well for me. And then just taking it slow on those first two uh, turns at the beginning of the lap and staying on top is now just the end goal. So I'm going to slow it down here. I do not want to lose this. So let's hit that gas. You can see them kind of coming up now. Probably a couple seconds behind me. Ooh, okay. So that is the big one. You do not want to die on that. Um, then you're going to have to take the long path. And it's kind of game over at that point. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No. Okay. Should still be good. I just need to stay on top. Let's go like that. Yes, perfect. Okay. So, like I said, this is why I feel like this is the hardest lap or hardest race in the game. It really tests your turning ability, speed, like how to maintain speed. But once you kind of get it down, you know the method on how to do it. You should be able to beat it after a couple of tries. You can see there that middle lap is what really helped me there. Um, the first and the third were not the greatest. But I hope that was a helpful video for you guys and how to get through that one. And you can see here, we got another pod. It's 
I hadn't beaten this raid apparently before on this game. So getting him uh, feels pretty good. Only beat him by a couple seconds. So we are on uh, circuit four, race three, OVO four, the gauntlet. So we got Gascano for uh, winner takes all, 5,500. This one should be a fun one. Uh, I'm gonna switch up the vehicles as last time I used Neve Key. I want to go back to Anakin. And let's get that race started. Oh, that is some awesome music. Alright, let's get going though. Okay, good takeoff! Let's give that a little boost. You can see that I was about 880 right there. And you've seen this level a handful of times. It's just obviously slight variation again. Oh, love this outside environment. Up here in space. Woo! That's some bad driving on my part. Spawn, <laughs> spawn right into some fire. Which is just ridiculous. But again, I'm doing okay. First place still. And give it a gas through here. And let's take this jump. Nice. Ah, didn't have time to move. Stay up top again. So you're gonna see another split just like I had previously seen. And let's gas it right through here. I'm gonna stay up top. You can see there is that bottom path. And stay up top. Woo! Man, I'm dying a lot this lap. Cast it through. And hit another boost. And hit another boost. Another moving door that I can't get through. I feel like that's a terrible angle that it just held. Like, there's really not, not much I can do there. And same with that. That's got to be close to five deaths on this. So definitely no lap record on this one. Okay, so that's pretty ridiculous. Should be able to beat that on my second or third lap. We'll see if I only die like three times per lap. And the fact that I'm still in first place is also kind of surprising. So it'll be interesting to see how much I win by at the end of this. I shouldn't be getting worse at least. Love getting air in this game. Just hit that gas right through here. Let's hit the gas again and boost it right through. Now let's take this upward path again. So I feel like I'm doing a little bit better than last time. can't seem to get a method that uh, avoids that. So I might need to be a little careful with that in the future. And let's hit that boost again. I'm gonna stay up again. I feel like the downward path actually might be faster though. As with everything I do on the Xbox, controller disconnects. So let's hit that boost and get right through here. Woo. 
Okay, I didn't die here. Ah, didn't even make it to the door. Okay. Now let's hit the boost. It is going to be a little hard for me to uh, come back if I if those other racers do catch up to me. I feel like I'm just going to die so much that uh, I won't really have a chance to pass them. Okay, I'm going to try going up above those next time. But I'm pretty sure I did better than the last one, last lap. Yep, okay. I'll have to check at the end of the race to see how much better I did. feel like probably 10 seconds or so. But yeah, if you're getting about these times on your laps, you should be able to beat these guys. Um, it's not too hard of a race, it's just... It is, uh, you know, with a fast speed at this point. A uh, lot of sharp turns. And a lot of objects and, like, rocks that kind of just lead to your death. I'm sure there's a good way to get around those and make sure that you don't die. Um, I'd have to kind of go back and play the level through probably another time or two to before I find a way to not mess up. That boost... Let's take the upward path again. Okay, so here I'm going down. A little too fast, but that's okay. We're gonna stay safe here until we get out of this area. Hit that boost. Hit another one. Let's go down this time. Pretty tight but I think it's faster. Give it a boost. We can release that. Ooh. Slow it down a little and then let's boost through here. Get through here. Not cool door. Not cool. Okay, so I'm gonna try to aim up and I feel like I just kinda bugged through that by hitting the left bumper and looking backwards. Alright, so let's get through here and let's take that victory. So I got better on each lap which is good, that's what you want to see. Seven and a half minutes. Okay, so we only won by five seconds. That's actually kind of surprising. I was expecting to win by a lot more. We're on the final race here of Star Wars Pod Racer 64. Um, this is Barunda the Inferno. Uh, this is Circuit four, uh, Circuit 4, Race 4. So let's hop in. So we got to go against Ben. This dude's got a big face. Let's see how his pod is. Alright, so I'm going to just go in here with Anakin. Okay, so let's get started here. So I'm going to boost it right off the bat. So you can see all the guys that have already... Yeah. You know, Got a significant lead on. Woo! Woo! It's pretty tight. Some explosions there. Ah, it was just too indecisive there. I feel like the path is you want to go down there. But I do like this. Oh my. Do you like this world a lot?
the world is literally like shaking, which is just making it pretty hard to control the pod. I feel like I have no clue where I'm going. It's been a long time since I've taken on this race. But pretty fast, so that's okay. Okay, so you can see probably about three to four seconds behind me. Let's hit that boost here. Let's get a little bit of bigger lead. I died a couple times there. So I think I can do better again on this lap. Not a big fan of those explosions. I feel like they just kind of get in the way of my vision. Ah, I missed it again. But at least I did not die. I think that's the same rock I hit last time. This is where it starts to get kind of shaky. Okay, that's more or less fine. And it will be here. Just, yep, finishing the second lap. Now onto the third. Let's hit a boost. So it should be just about a four minute race for you. You can see they're getting a little closer on me, so I gotta be careful on this lap. I haven't really utilized the boost at all throughout this race, just a little bit here and there. All right, let's see if I can get that downward path. There we go. Ah, takes us outside, okay. Where I at least have a chance to avoid that stupid rock. I feel like if I actually do need to stay alive on these races, I can. It's just I got such a, usually such a good lead as I am a complete idiot. Uh, you know, I don't usually need to stay alive every single time. But that, guys, is the main circuits of Star Wars Pod Racer 64. Proved by about five seconds there at the end, which is good to see. And this. This is a final pod. There are some cheats and some other workarounds into getting other racers in that game. In this game, um, I can put those like in the description if you do want to get some of those pods. And the fastest racer in the galaxy achievement. Finished first place in all my races. So you can see here, all four circuits are done. There are a couple other achievements that I will go through uh, in this game, such as using Sebulba's uh, pod and getting like fire on those. Uh, I think you have to take out like something like 10 opponents. Okay, we're gonna go through the mirrored race here on Star Wars Pod Racer. Um, this is on the Xbox. Um, you play this also on like N64. So here I have Anakin. I've already beaten pretty much all the races with him using Nivaki just about once. But here we're gonna go with Sebulba. And we're going to go Tatooine, this is the easiest. So if you press right on the thumbstick, you'll now see mirrored. So let's hop into that. I also need to go and get that achievement for buying all the top items. So we'll see uh, if we can get that. So you can see there, I also need to press Y. I'm going to try to catch some of these guys on fire. I'm going to slow down. Wait. Can't tell if they're actually... Even coming up behind me. There we go. Oh, a little too fast. There we go. Hit him once. Should be easier to kind of catch him here in this tight area. So 
So you gotta hit him ten times to get that achievement? Ooh. Well played on his part. You can see I'm also not really taking this race too seriously. Once we want to, we can really just speed up and take this race over, finishing at any time. So, X, if you want to slow down. Y. Catch, throw that fire out there. I'm not even sure if I'm, like, hitting him on some of these. So you can tell, yeah, also just little clunky on this I'm going for these hits more so than anything uh, let's see if we can get him right here there we go now we can kind of go through and just get this race finished up should just take about another like two minutes And let's hit that boost. You can see here now, this is the first time I've used Sebulba in here. It's got a pretty good top speed. Pretty good cooling. Hovering about, you know, 640, 615. Not too bad for a level. Uh, doesn't have a great area for just boosting, except for maybe like right here. And in the next part, I'm going to try to go through and buy what is left for me on Anakin to get his uh, pod up to the best that it can be. Um, we'll see if I get that achievement. And let's boost it right through here. And I think I can get here to the end with just holding this down. And you can see there, 41 seconds. And we get that second achievement, an especially dangerous Doug. Win the race with Sebulba. And then we also get left. I mean right. So that was going to be so far all the achievements except for one. If you go through and get first place on all those races. I just got three achievements there for finishing up that one. Go through and try to upgrade my pod as best as possible. So let's change the vehicle. So throughout this game I've gone through with Anakin. You can see here I have top speed. Um, probably pretty close to the top cooling. I've got about 28,000 credits left. So let's see if I can upgrade my vehicle and buy some parts to upgrade anything else. So let's upgrade that air brake. That's going to cost me seven grand. <laughs> Repair, that's the top I think I can get. Let's see if I can get that accelerate any higher. Nope. Okay. Upgrade that turning. Okay. So that's every. So. Turbo cool pump, that is correct. Outlanders, they come Quad here. air brake, got that. They come here. They mess up my Bloxus hey. thrust coil, got that. Mag 6, injector, oh, have oh, that. Yeah. Control stabilizer, have that. And R20, so I need the 600. You're gonna lose unless you there we go. your pod racer, I think. And there we go. Jeez, that that took a second to figure out. But I will post as <laughs> it's not the clearest video. Um, you can see here on the right side, the, what you have is the replace side. Check, check, the left side oh, is yeah, what you can you buy. buy. Um, I got very close there as I was almost running out of credits. You can't always get this if you don't make the right purchases at the right time. Um, but there you go. Thank you for watching.